Lineage of the Priesthood, November 1998. The attitude of the Church with reference to Negroes remains as it has always stood. It is not a matter of the declaration of a policy, but of direct commandment from the Lord, on which is founded the doctrine of the Church from the days of its organization, to the effect that Negroes may become members of the Church, but that they are not entitled to the priesthood at the present time. The prophets of the Lord have made several statements as to the operation of the principle. August 17, 1949 George Albert Smith Reuben Clark, J.R. David O. McKay First Presidency. Preface. From ancient times, the Lord has given selected people certain authority, laws, ordinances, and commandments. This was the continuation of a great plan instituted in the pre-mortal world. Such authority was the priesthood after the order of the Son of God, later shortened to the Melchizedek priesthood. Great responsibility was given to certain people to carry this awesome burden throughout their generations. It represented a special privilege and assignment to some and a restriction to others. The priesthood was not a man-delegated power, nor a civil or social right, nor an issue for public vote. Since priesthood authority comes from God, it is He who dictates its execution and function. It involves a covenant with solemn promises. If obeyed, it brings blessings, if disobeyed, it brings curses. History and scripture have proved this to be so. Throughout the Bible, the responsibility of learning one's genealogy was a vital part of his religion, and with anticipation and pride, he determined the purity of his bloodline. Another part of that responsibility, then, was to try to continue that lineage purity themselves. In the present world of immorality and interracial marriages, the rights, powers, and restrictions of priesthood have been challenged. The wicked oppose it, the weak compromise it, and the worldly ignore it. As in previous dispensations, pure lineage and true priesthood holders have become relatively scarce. This publication is a brief account of how such a catastrophe has occurred, at the same time emphasizing the importance of a pure lineage as a priesthood channel.